Hi, I'm George Lynch, uh, known for Dokken, Lynch Mob, and many other projects that I currently have going on, which I hopefully you'll hear about soon. I'm here today to talk about my ESP guitars, and my history and involvement with ESP over 27 years, and some of the guitars that we've developed. Um, this is my Tiger guitar, which is um, a very simple guitar, but it is, it's a very heavy guitar. It, it, it weighs 17 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilos, but it's a, for an electric guitar, it's, it's, it's very heavy. Um, it has a very wide neck, like a classical guitar, which is one and three quarter inches at the, at the nut, um, and an unfinished maple neck with a headstock of my own design, which is called the Hooker headstock. This guitar has had many necks on it, but it always sounds good. Uh, the necks, if they warp or get damaged, I replace the neck, but it always sounds good because of the body, the wood in the body, which is maple. And I've got a Seymour Duncan uh, Screamin' Demon pickup and a uh, Floyd Rose with um, some upgraded parts like titanium inserts uh, and a brass block in the back. Other than that, it's a very simple guitar. It does one thing and it's sounded better and better over the years as it uh, off gases and ages and the wood ages and so forth. So this is my go-to guitar. It's what I've been using for most of my career. Um, this is the Kamikaze, which is my first model with ESP. And my guitar tech and myself went to Japan uh, in search of a guitar company that could build a guitar according to our specs with specific components and a specific design we had in mind. So we met with the, uh, the engineers at the, uh, the Craft Academy, ESP Craft Academy in Tokyo, and I believe this was in 86 or 87, something like that. And um, uh, we all sat down for a few hours at the Craft Academy and we came up with this guitar. I mean, this is the LTD version of the original Kamikaze, but it has a thicker body, obviously has a little bit, you know, there's less of a contour, like this has softer contours, this has a harder contour. Um, a little deeper access, which is you know practical consideration, but the very big frets and the wide fingerboard or the wide uh, the wide neck. Uh, the original one did not have a recessed Floyd, but very high quality. Everything on this had to be high quality. The pickups, uh, the wood especially, uh, you know the type of wood on the fretboard and and so forth, it, uh, makes a difference. Um, this uh, GL56 I came up with in the 90s, and it came out for a while and then it went away. I'm not even sure why. It, it, it's really what it is, is a, is a hybrid of a, of a relic strat with a humbucking in it, uh, obviously. Um, and this is a little bit of a departure for me because I'm very used to wide, flat necks. But this has more of a traditional C Fender style neck, which I actually ended up really liking. Uh, as I've gotten older and changed my playing style over the years, I end up liking, you know, you, you, uh, smaller necks for some reason, I don't know why, so they're easier for me to play. So I think for most people this is, a, is an, e an easier guitar to play. The other thing I like the, uh, about it is it's, unlike this, is not a one-trick pony, it does many different things because you have the humbucking in the bridge and then you've got the two single coils. You can get all kinds of different sounds. So this guitar is good for rock, blues, and you know a lot of other kinds of music. Um, I would say this guitar has a little bit, it has more varieties of tonality options and uh, it, it, it's maybe a little bit less of a rock guitar and more of a vintage kind of a, a flavor to it. So, and I think it's beautiful. The distressing on it is, is very nice. And um, again, you just have more options.
thank you for spending time with me and, and joining me here. And uh, if I hope you have interest in ESP guitars, and uh, thank you.